Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 3 101 Border Collie Challenge. Um, so yeah, why why are we here staring at um, Annie and the dogs and the chaos that's happening you may be wondering. Well, Annie just went into labour. So yeah, that happened. Um, so yeah, this, this, this is happening. But also, Warrior Cats is coming out this week. Um, I was supposed to be posted today, but um, and, uh, Golden Nose decided to surprise us. So yeah, we we are just we, we're gonna have to wait for that. But yeah, uh, Annie has gone into labour. The dogs will need to pee. They're just out here training Jack and Penny, and um, apparently she's yelling. Really. <laughs> Annie's just yelling. The dogs are screaming in the background and Annie's just yelling like I, I don't even know why. It's very amusing though. Okay, you can continue yelling there, Annie. She's just like, oh, oh, no, no, that didn't happen. Oh, you just, you just peed yourself. Even better. I think her water just broke. Um, you still want to read that pregnancy book. You want to feed a treat to the dog and buy a toy chest. Okay, you do that, Annie. Um, yeah? Can you take a shower or are you not allowed to while you're in labor? I, I love how she's thinking about a toy chest whilst whilst this is happening. And the puppy is tired. Puppy, go to bed. I, <laughs> Luna's just over here. Luna's just casually playing on the xylophone as you do whilst your, like, mum is in labor and your dad is going to feed a treat to one of the dogs in the pitch black because it's two in the morning. <laughs> Why have you gone cross-eyed? Sweetie, oh. why, why? What is with this cross-eyed face I see? Like, it's adorable, but why? Uh, oh god. She's just like, <laughs> she just keeps like going cross-eyed. And then she just stands there like, nope, that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, well, you, you're gonna have this baby. And Kevin has come in here to fill up dog food bowls. Of course he has. Um, all right, I'm gonna move some of these treats away. The uh, treats, toys away from the dog food bowl so that it stops blocking it because that kept on happening. Yeah, <laughs> you gonna have this baby anytime soon? Yeah. <laughs> okay. How's Luna? Luna's just Luna's just chilling in here. Um, I think Kevin's like anxiously waiting. Why? Okay, Annie, I'm going to get you to. Where's the moodlet? Okay, baby incoming, yep. I'm gonna get you to come inside the house, because as kind of funny as it may be for you to just- Yeah, you're screaming. For you to just, like, have your baby in the middle of the barn, it's probably not the- <laughs> Probably not the best thing as I say that! She just gives birth to a baby boy! Kevin's not gonna be- Oh no, I think Kevin did want a baby boy. Um, okay. Um... I have no idea what we're gonna name this guy. Um, hmm. I will be back in a second with hopefully a name. Okay, so I have decided to call him Sol. It was the first name that popped into my head, so that's just what we're going with. Um, so yeah, we have little baby Sol and we get to pick one of his traits. He's a virtuoso that kind of fits because so is his mother. Um, let's see if we randomize. Oh god, I forgot about this. Uh, of course, I have a mod installed that means I get more traits, but it means that if you randomize stuff, your kids and stuff get a ton of traits. So, uh, he can love the outdoors. We're not going to give him that many traits. <laughs> um, yes, continue. So we have a little baby boy. Hang on, no, no. <laughs> give me like two seconds. Annie, you are having this baby, like, in front of this door. Can, why, why couldn't you have had it, like, in the middle of the room? This is not exactly the best place to take pictures. You know that? Do you know that? Woo! Okay. No, I, yep. Kevin's just like, and I am here. Can I... Okay, that's kind of cute. And he's just... <laughs> okay, so she is very cross-eyed. You can have this baby? Yay, baby! I need to get tons of pictures because why not? Baby! We have a little baby boy! 
Yay! <laughs> oh god. No, oh, and Annie stinks because she wet herself. That is quite funny. Um, right, so you can actually come and put little Sol over here, and poor little Luna's gonna have to move upstairs. Because now that her little brother is here, like, she's going to have to be the big sister and she's going to have to move. Though we do have a baby monitor upstairs. Um, what? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, Jack, go eat something. Annie, come put your son in bed, then you can take a bath. Where's a bath? We have a bath upstairs. You can then take a bath. What are all the pets like? I'm so used to playing warrior cats that these portrait colours changing is freaking me out. Um, and I'm like, no, no, I don't want to have to roll yet another random generator. Too much crazy stuff has already happened in this episode. But no, it's okay if their portrait colour changes. Annie's just like passed out on the floor. You got the little baby Sol. He's so cute. His favourite colour is pink. Interesting. And his favourite food, I can't read that. Or his music, so good for me. Yay for dyslexia. Um... You didn't have a baby girl. I'm sorry, Annie. Um, you can buy that toy chest that you wanted to get, though. We'll do that now. And we wait for it to load. There we go. Right. Uh, toy chest. Baby stuff. No, that would be in toys. Let's get this. This one? Is this one the one I have? No, that's not the one I wanted. There's one that I really like. Yeah, I like this one. I have custom coloration of this one. I just, I don't know, I like the picture on it. That can go in the kids' room. Let's do move objects because then we can move it closer to the wall. There we go. So now we have stuff for little Luna to play with up here. And actually, where's that baby? Yeah, there's that baby monitor. Um, I think that's fine. We'll just have to go with that. I also kind of want to put a rug down in here. I don't know. Rugs just make things feel a little more homey in Sims. Um, mm -hmm. Rug. That is like just like just the put. I might I might do that. Uh, and then what? Uh, what custom? I don't have many custom textures saved that's sort of annoying i really don't like the base game textures of this rug like they're quite ugly quite frankly can can you work sims thank you uh nah um hmm it's a baby room so i feel like that would be like probably some something kind of kiddish on the rug um where's i saw a bunch of stars where did that go huh where are the stars are they further down uh stars stars that's custom stars that's kind of cute but i want bigger stars ah here we go bigger stars and actually if i get the custom stars stick that down there and then get the bigger stars and then chat to put the coloring over then we have nice brightly colored stars and we can also do slightly bigger stars but still kind of small on the edges and i am going to make the back a little lighter and just like kind of dark bluish Cause this is like in a kids room you do want it to be quite light um right no that's technically not right yeah i think that works it's a kids room kids rooms always seem to look like you just chucked a bunch of stuff together they're never very cohesive um right uh, don't like this orange why is that orange hang on back up a second that okay yep yeah. Just wanting to make sure the colourings didn't change too much. Uh, wonder if we have clouds. I'm bad at patternings. Like I just I I try and find like stuff that just doesn't exist. Uh, maybe flowers. Oh, I like the flowers. The flowers are quite pretty. Maybe hmm hmm hmm. That's quite cute. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably edit me just going huh, out. Um, butterflies, that's adorable. I might put that in the bottom of the cots actually, because that's really cute. Um, ah, there are actually clouds. 
they're not exactly the nicest looking clouds. There are also butterflies. I wish you could turn the prints around so it would be really useful. Um, might do butterflies and make the background kind of a... Kind of a... Mm, let's do kind of a green colour. Um, makes the butterflies a little, little lighter. That's cute. Put that on here. That turns it around. Um, I think we'll go with that. I think that works. And cute little rug in the kids' room. Just put that in the middle. Because we don't want little Lyra to hurt her little hands and knees crawling around on all these wood floors. So, there we go. Now we have a toy chest and a new rug. <laughs> Just because I thought we needed a new rug. Um, yay, we've got a toy chest. Also, for some reason, yeah, there was no music. That didn't make any sense. So now they have two little babies! And we have dogs passed out just just to sleep. Mm, itchy nose. Uh, Annie, yeah, you go take a bath because you smell and you're tired and you can you can just get some sleep or something. Also, I don't know why her hair like is so short. I think I have a way to edit that, but I kind of find it amusing that she's like taking her hair down, though it would technically be longer, so I might make it slightly longer. Um, tch, Luna, it's four in the morning, sweetie. You should go to bed. And Kevin's just here reading a book. I think after the excitement of last night, everyone's just kind of up. Why do you, you want to see, the, yeah, feed Theo a treat? Oh, you want to, oh, you want to teach him how to roll over and how to play dead. You can do that. Um, you also want to teach Kira how to sit. Right, um, you can come teach her to sit. Actually, yeah, the puppies, the puppies do need to learn their tricks, so you can wake her up. You need to learn at least two tricks before they can leave. She actually already knows how to sit, so if we get her to sit up, then Kira can actually go and find her own family. I do need to find a mod that means the puppies can be put up for adoption, but not disappear. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and Kevin's just coming to do that. Kevin's actually like not tired at all, I'm not sure. I think he was asleep for most of the night. Annie's just taking a bath. You are actually getting tired, madam, so I'm actually going to get your mother to come and take you and put you in your big girl, sort of big girl bed. I actually do have technically a um, custom cot that looks like a sort of toddler bed that I think is cute. I can't wait to start getting like the toddlers into these rooms because when you build a house like this, I built the house with the intention that obviously they're going to have a big family because Kevin wants to raise how many kids? Five kids from um, children, from babies to teens. Um, so yeah, it's, it's five in the morning and now you you can, okay, that was confusing. You can fill up pet food bowls. Um, <laughs> so I built it with the intention of like, they're gonna have a big family, but until we actually have like kids living in these rooms and like little things that they bring in, it's like kind of, it feels rather empty up here. It feels kind of lonely. Um, yeah, you teach her to do that. You also need to pee and you're also hungry. Annie's exhausted though. So Annie's not gonna be making you breakfast. She's going to be down here and then she's gonna be going to bed. Um, Kira's also kind of hungry. So, you can use the loo and then you can grab, right, uh, oops. No, where'd that go? Go use the loo. And then you can grab, um, a quick meal of some yogurt. Just eat some yogurt for breakfast. Um, you want, oh, you want to pick up little Sol? You... You technically don't want that anymore, but considering you want to, right. Um, roll over is probably the easiest one to teach Theo, so we're just going to do that. And then you can interact with your baby son. <laughs> Sharp. Yeah, Kira. Sharp. Kira, how close are you to getting this? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> it's like, ah. Oh. They actually, all of them don't have, like, they all have some hunting skill. Theo, you need to go pee. I'm gonna go shoot something. Uh, you're not Theo, you're Timber. Theo, where are you? And we have lag. Um, you're, you're fine. 
uh, you're, you're going to check out the new object. Also, I reinstalled the hanging basket seat that is adorable and I love it. Um, but it uninstalled itself last time. Oh. Oh, also, um, puppies, I, hang on. Okay, so, um, I actually do have names for puppies. The little girl is called May and the little boy is called Reuben. Um, and somebody did suggest those names. So there we go. Though I'm pretty sure um, either YouTube removed the comment or somebody did, but the comment isn't there there, um, there now. Uh, but yeah, we have little little May and Reuben. So they are here. They are being cute, and May actually needs to go and chew something because the puppies just they just ignore their needs. Her little cute face, and then little Reuben's over there. Um, yeah, you you. Both of you need to go and deal with your own needs, and then you can continue to teach her to uh, sit up, because you want to do that. You also want to teach her to speak. You kind of need to focus on Jack, because Jack hasn't learned all his skills, but okay, there we go. He's going to go chase a ball, and Penny is still asleep. Penny, you can get up now. Penny's like, no, I'm tired. I had a litter of puppies. What do you expect me to do? Oh, we have a crying baby. Well, sorry, Kevin, you are going to have to... No, Annie, you can go back to bed. You're really tired. Go back to bed. Yes, I know there is a crying baby. Kevin will come and deal with it. He will come and he will give him a bottle because he is hungry. And he also kind of needs some socializing so we can play with him and snuggle him and play with him. And you can go back to bed, madam. Go back to sleep. And then he can come and grab some yogurt for breakfast. Ooh. I'm going to say it's like freshly made yogurt from the cows. Uh, quick meal yogurt. I don't think we can technically make yogurt out of the milk. That sucks. But there we go. He also needs to come and feed the cow some vegetables and milk it. And also needs to come and feed and collect the eggs. Once we have kids, this will be their job. But until we have kids, we are going to have to do this ourselves. And I forgot we actually got chicks in the last episode. Um, so we have chicks now. So he does not get to um, lay around. Yeah, Annie, go back to bed, sweetie. Go to bed. <laughs> you are tired. You are up all night. You had a baby. You need some sleep. He's just playing with his son. Oh, he's also like, I'm hungry. It's like, I love you, child, but please may I have my breakfast? No. Oh, like, way too close up picture, but there is a cot in the way, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. Where is the... There we go. No. Oh, he's so cute. He's a little baby. <laughs> um, right. Where are the dogs? Dog is over here. Dog. <laughs> That's Theo. Um, Kira, you are going to the loo. Good girl, you're peeing outside. Where are you going? Right, I'm going to cancel that, get you to pee here, and then Annie, I am going to wake you up very quickly to come and praise her just because Kevin has so many interactions. Uh, and it will only take a couple of seconds, so you can praise for being neat. I'm pretty sure she hasn't actually got the neat trait. No, so we can actually teach her that trait. That is good. Yes, get up. You don't need to make the bed. You are literally going to come back to bed in like two seconds. So you do not need to make the bed. I love how she just instantly wants to make the bed because she's a neat sim. You want to potty train uh, Luna. How is Luna's... She kind of needs to use the potty, so you can... Come and pick your daughter up after you've done all the rest of your interactions. And Annie is just praising. Penny, do you have anything we can praise you for? Um, right, you can praise her for being playful. You can... Mm, being adventurous is good. I'm not sure if we would want to breed that trait though. So I'm just going to leave that one there. Um, anyone else? Timber, we can scold for being noisy. We don't want that. And we can praise for being playful. And Theo, we can praise for being non-destructive and scold for being a pick. Lots of interactions. Sorry, Annie. No, you're going to have to do this first. 
I'm terribly sorry. And then you can go back to bed. Actually, you can grab something to eat and then go back to bed because you're hungry. Um, serve, no, not serve. Quick meal, um, more yogurt. And then bed. How are the little puppies doing? Ooh, we have some lag. Yeah, we're okay. Ruben's so cute. Uh, Annie is not happy because she is having to deal with all these dogs and she just wants to sleep. Jack, you kind of need to chew something. You can chew this. What do you mean? Okay. Don't know what that was about. She just started yelling at the dog for no reason. I think she is very tired. Uh, Kevin... Good job. Milk that, milking that cow. Oh, and apparently Penny has brought him the newspaper. And he is off to do the chickens. Penny, you can just put the newspaper down, sweetie. Thank you. I will move that to the front porch where it will probably just rot because this is what happens. But there we go. Um... I wonder if Annie would be interested in anything in the newspaper. She can recycle it. Um, uh, check out... Uh, check out newspaper for pets to adopt. That's just something I always do. Um, you just do that and then you can recycle it. Uh, yeah. And now you are coming to deal with your daughter. <laughs> who at this point kind of does need to be. So that is good. Annie is... Yeah, just get some yogurt. They need a dishwasher. Like, they just leaving plates everywhere and it'd be really useful to have a dishwasher. Where is something? Why can we put the newspaper in... Wait, why can we put the newspaper in in here? What the? I'm so, why can we put the newspaper in the bookshelf? So confused, I have no idea where their bin's gone. Like their bin has just disappeared. So that's very useful. I have to put it in this bin. Um, yeah. <laughs> Really? Little May's like, there's pancakes and they smell and I don't like it. And she's really cute. Um, what are your traits actually? You are adventurous and a loyal. A loyal? Yeah, that makes sense. A non-destructive. No! I think Annie would see this and have a fit. And she'd rush over, scold for being destructive. She would like drop her bowl in surprise and be like, no, bad, bad. Do not do this. Um, Kevin, can you actually finish this painting? No, this painting is cursed. Okay. Where are you going with this child? You're taking her downstairs for some reason. Well, you can potty train her whilst you're down here then. <laughs> Annie is running over to this puppy like, no, bad, we do not do this. Yeah, bad, bad puppy. No do that. Right, who okay, so yeah. She is she is like, oh I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to, I promise. Um Annie, you can no, you can go back to bed. Um <laughs> Kevin's like, I'm tired. Uh no is there anything you can socialize with May. Uh you want to talk to May. Uh uh where's talk? Talk to. There we go. <laughs> And he's like, I am too tired for this. Um, you want to make your bed. Uh, you can make the bed if you want to. Oh, and Sol is now stinky baby. So you're going to talk to the puppy and then come and change your son's nappy. Uh, Penny, you want to go visit the beach. I don't think... Actually, no, there is a beach on this side of the area. I wonder if I send her down here. This is technically Broken Clan's, um, no, not over here. Over here is technically, this is where Broken Clan lives in our Warrior Cat save. This field is Broken Clan's home. So this beach is the dreaded beach where cats keep on dying annoyingly. But I wonder if I send her down here if that will achieve the um, go to the beach one. And she can just have some, she can just go and adventure for the day and leave her puppies alone. Um, Jack, you are sniffing your son, okay. Your son that looks very much like you, but with a very different head structure. Uh, you can sniff out some collectibles. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sniff out collectibles, because it's technically been a day since your pups were born. Uh, you're goofing around with your brother. Aww. Cute. Uh, Kevin. Yeah. 
Mm, excuse me. You can put your sun down. Uh, Annie is still asleep. That's good. What's Luna doing? Luna is playing on the xylophone. She really likes this thing. No, she's so cute. I'm actually going to get Kevin. Annie's the one who wants to teach her to uh, start to walk. Yeah, so Kevin, you can actually come over. Yay! She learned how to play the xylophone. Not sure what that's going to do, but that is a good thing. Uh, you can give her food on the floor, then you can teach her to talk. Or has she already learned that? There's only teach to walk, so I'm guessing she's already learned that. Um, also, change her into her everyday wear. Like, she needs to get out of her pajamas at some point. Um, Annie wants to teach her to walk, so I'm not going to get him to do that. Uh, little Soul is just, just resting. Kevin wants to improve his painting skills, so he can do that. We can continue with this artwork. What are you doing? Oh, you're changing her outfit. No, he's so cute. What? I did... I'm pretty sure we got a baby walker. Maybe we didn't. Did I put it upstairs? Maybe Annie... Um, not Annie. Luna just lost it somewhere on the lot that's highly plausible. Who are you? Um... I have no idea, but there is a dog running past. Um, Tiger Lily is going home. This is not your home, Tiger Lily. Why are you running through my garden? There is much confusion. Jack's just like, what the? There is a dog here who is <laughs> not from our pack. I am slightly confused. Miss, Miss, Miss Tiger Lily, you are... You're not supposed to be here. You are, I love how you're like half... Your eyes are half closed and your ears are just everywhere. Um, right. Woo! We have lag. We love lag. We really, really love lag. And Jack's just like, you're not a part of our pack. I'm a confused puppy. Aww. And she's just off. Um, oh, I forgot I put this tree over here. Um, this tree, this swing. And we have a pond. I wonder if we can... You can do some fishing over there. We don't really need to do fishing right now. You want to snuggle with Luna? <laughs> you forgot to give your child the food. Uh, give your child... Your child is hungry. Sir. Sir, come over here. No, that is the wrong sim. Give your child some food. Then you may continue with your artwork. Even though currently it looks like a big splodge of colours. But okay, there we go. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> it's just like, okay, I'm continuing with this. Uh, Penny, you're coming home. Apparently that didn't do anything for her want. Um, she does want to socialise with her son though, so I might get her to do that. <laughs> she walks in through the door and is suddenly like, actually, hang on a moment, I am hungry. Oh. And charges off again. <laughs> um, right, did you milk the cow in the end? I think you did. Apparently not. You can do it again. Nobody has milk in his inventory, so he must have. Well, that's confusing. Right, you can put the eggs. The eggs can be put in the fridge. The milk can be put in the thingy because it refuses to go in the fridge. And you can milk the cow again. Right, cancel this. Put your daughter on the floor. Uh, hang on, let Luna out. What was that? Let Luna out. Then you can come and milk the cow. Try and feed the cow chocolate and then milk the cow. And Jack's just like, I'm sniffing out gems over here. Is anyone else um, sniffing out any gems at the moment? No, apparently Penny is going to go and look through one of the windows. Can you look? Oh, you can see through that window. Interesting. I think she's like waiting for him to come outside. And he's just, okay, fine, I'll come and try and... Let's let's see if he can feed the cow some chocolate milk. Why are you going all the way around? You could have easily accessed that from a different side. But okay, there we go. Gonna feed the cow some milk? There's some chocolate even? Why does he say chocolate milk? The cow's like, no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> and Penny's like, what are you doing? I'm going to go and chase this ball around. Yeah, you can milk the cow again. And then, actually, we have a beehive over here in a tree. So you can... Uh, smoke bee box, feed bees, smoke bee box, harvest bees, smoke bee box, and um, clean the bee box. So we got some more milk from that, that's good. <laughs> He's just standing there staring at it. 
<laughs> he is like, I love how he's just got the hat on. It's just like, I do not need the rest of it. I'm fine with just the hat. Right, you gonna be able to do anything else? I love how they change out of it too. It's like, there is no practicality to this. You gonna be able to feed the bees? I love how his arm is also facing through this tree trunk. It's just, just excellent on his behalf. He is magical sim. Uh, you done doing that, sir? Can you be done doing that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, smoking the bees. Jack found a gem. Good job. Right. Now it is harvesting the honey. Oh, he actually didn't get attacked by bees. Wow. I was fully expecting him to be attacked by bees. Um, but anyway, I am afraid I am actually going to have to end this episode here. So thank you for watching. Horror Cats should be out this week, theoretically. Um, <laughs> if Sims decides to not throw more kittens at me. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you have enjoyed this and I hope you have a lovely day. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you have enjoyed it and I hope you have a lovely day. That was like three different versions of saying that. I'm not sure why I did it that way, but okay. <laughs> Bye!